Hi everyone, let's solve this interesting exponential expression. So over here, solution. We have our question to be 100 over x squared equal to x squared over 100. From here, we multiply both sides by 100 x squared Now, from here, this cancel out with this 100 cancel out, then x squared cancel out over here. So the next step becomes 100 multiplied by 100 equal to x squared multiplied by x squared. Now, what we need to do here is to consider the rule of exponents. Over here, it implies that this becomes base a with the power of 1. So it means we are going to add the power together. So we have 100 to, to power 1 multiplied by 100 to power 1 equal to this as well will be given as adding the power together. We have x to the power of 2 plus 2 and this becomes the same so we have 100 to the power of 2 if we add this together okay and this gives us x to the power of 4 so from here we can simplify the left hand side so we have 10 to the power of 2 then into bracket to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 4. Likewise, we can write this right hand side as 10 to the power of 2 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. And this can be written as 10 to the power of 2 into bracket to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 2 into brackets to the power of 2. Then we can move all the expression to the left hand side and that gives us x to the power of 2 into brackets to the power of 2 then minus 10 to the power of 2 into brackets to the power of 2 and that will be equal to 0. So from the rule or from the identity of difference of two square, we have a squared minus b square to be expanded as a plus b into brackets a minus b. So over here, this becomes our a. x square becomes our a. y10 to the power of 2 becomes our b. So we can now put it in this form and that becomes x squared plus 10 squared into brackets then open under brackets x squared minus 10 squared and that will be equal to 0. So let's solve these two cases of x. So considering this we have x to the power of 2 plus 10 to the power of 2 equal to 0. Here we can move this 10 to the power of 2 to the right hand side. So if we bring this 10 to the right hand side it becomes minus 10 squared. So we have we take the square root of both sides. We have square root of x squared equal to square root of minus 10 squared. So this gives us square root of x squared 
then plus or minus plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared so now this cancel out with this we are left with x will now be equal to plus or minus square root of 10 squared then minus 1 squared so we can factor out minus 1 from minus 10 squared so we now have x to be equal to plus or minus square root of 10 squared multiplied by square root of minus 1 this gives us equal to plus or minus 10 plus or minus 10 if this cancel out with this so y square root of minus 1 will be given as i so it implies that our x is now equal to x1 to be equal to x1 becomes 10 high y x2 equal to minus 10 high this is for the case 1 okay then let's solve for the case where we have x squared minus 10 squared equal to 0. So over here, this expression is also in the form of difference of 2 squared. So this implies that we are going to expand this in the, in the form of difference of 2 squared, which implies if we have a squared minus b squared we can express it as a plus b into bracket a minus b into bracket so putting this in this form we have we have x plus 10 into brackets multiply by x minus 10 into bracket equal to 0 so solving for x in this expression it implies that x will be equal to x will be plus 10 equal to 0 or x minus 10 equal to 0 so it implies that it implies that x will be equal to minus 10 or x will be equal to 10 we can call this x3 and this to be x4 so I haven't gotten our x1 to be equal to 10i x2 equal to minus 10 i then we also have x3 to be equal to minus 10 x4 equal to 10 so we can as well check for this value in our question which implies 100 over x squared equal to x squared over 100 if the left hand side complies with the right hand side that is if they were if they are equal so testing for x1 we have 100 equal to 100 over which is x1 now, 100 over 10i squared, then 10i squared over 100. So we can express this as 
100 over 10 over 10 squared into bracket i squared equal to 10 squared into bracket i squared over 100 so this can be written as 100 over 100 10 squared give us 100 and i squared is given as minus 1 equal to 100 then minus 1 over 100 so if we cancel out this and we cancel out this we are left with for the left hand side and left and the right hand side as minus one equal to minus one so left hand side equal to the right hand side so if x2 equal to minus 10i would the left hand side be equal to the right hand side so we have 100 over x squared equal to x squared over 100 importing this value of x2 so we have 100 over minus 10 i squared equal to minus 10 i squared over 100 so expressing this or simplifying this simplifying this we have 100 over minus 10 squared then i squared equal to minus 10 squared i squared over 100 so this gives us 100 over 100 then i square give us minus 1 equal to 100 then minus 1 over 100 this comes for all this this comes for all this we are left with minus 1 equal to minus 1 so the left hand side equal to the right hand side for x2 then for x3 which is equal to minus 10 so importing this we have 100 over we have 100 over minus 10 squared then minus 10 squared over 100 so this gives us 100 over 100, then 100 over 100. So this can solve this, this can solve this. We have 1 equal to 1. LHS equal to LHS. So for x4 equal to 10. So we have we have 100 over 10 squared equal to 10 squared over 100. Then we have 100 over 100. This gives us 100. Then 100. This also gives us 100. 10 squared equal to 100 over 100. So this cancel all this. This cancel all this. So we have 1 equal to 1. It implies that LHS equal to RHS. So for the value of X1, X2, X3, and X4 satisfy our earlier expression, which proves that all values of X are correct. See you in the next one.